Ogen e caro e tebo Ogen e caro tebo That man has stats like Kante He's cheap as chips for the price it's not bad looking like 90k Moves like he Moses, silky yam boy from the Nigerian land This card is cracked, he's a beast but he won't score goals, his finishing's bad That was fire in the booth MUT! Testing, testing, one, two, three Ogenekaro Etebo. What's up, boys, and welcome to the 86 Winter Wild Card Ogenekaro Peter Etebo, aka the new Kante. That is right, we are gathered here today to look at a ridiculous, ridiculous looking Peter Etebo card. Uh, first name Ogenekaro, also known as Peter Etebo more popularly. Plays for Watford, things you absolutely love to see, and he looks like he is one of the best midfielders, not just in uh, the Premier League, but looks like a very, very good solid. Uh, looks like a very, very good solid. Looks like a very, very good solid. That's what 16 years of school is meant to do for you. He's got 2,426 total in-game stats. 90 Conte's got 2,209 total in-game stats. And the flashback Conte has 2,172. This looks like a very, very smexy card. Looks like he's borderline club Hullet. And he's coming in around 80 to 95,000 coins on both consoles. And today, we're going to get a look at him and see if some of these stats pop. We get some nice little upgrades on the card. Again, the Peter Table, the base card, um, is not... Uh, don't think he was the most usable card. It's a matter of fact, he was a silver. He goes ahead. Holy smokes, he was actually a silver. That's a 338 total in-game stat upgrade for Peter Etebo. You love to see it. Smash like on the episodio for an emotional Ogenekaro Peter Etebo episodia. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. But let's just tuck right into this wave view and check out if this Etebo might be a guy that's worth wiggling into your squad. So... What do you get? Like I said, ridiculous total in-game stats. Uh, he is nearly club uh, club Hullet, even without a chem style. 75 shooting. 3-star skill moves, 4-star weak foot. We move on over to the stats. 85 acceleration, 82 sprint speed. Goes up to 95, 92 respectively with the shadow. Has decent enough uh, attacking stats. 68 finishing is a little bit meh. 90 shot power uh, with 75 long shots, 76 volleys, and 80 penalties. Has some pretty decent passing stats. Don't love the curve. The vision's good. The short passing is good. And the long passing, I would argue, are elite level. The dribbling stats for a midfielder, 5'9", so he's got that low center of gravity. I don't know what his body type is. He's got himself the average body type, which is decent. 93 agility with 85 ball control. And then the defending stats, 92 interceptions with the shadow. Goes up to over 90 defensive awareness with the shadow. And then 98 standing tackle with 91 stamina, 81 strength, and 84 aggression. So a pretty crazy looking little card there. No real traits to speak of. And again, he's one of those guys that I feel like you could get really, really creative with with a chem style. And I feel I feel like there's a chem style that we're kind of missing a trick on. What does the anchor do for him? The anchor gives him 91 strength, 89 aggression. I feel like maybe the anchor is it, you know? We're going to pop that cheeky anchor on him just because I really like what it does to his uh, his strength and aggression. But this uh, this Etebo m looks like he's he might be the new king in town. Significantly better defending stats. Uh, the physical stats were already uh, were already better than Kante. This one goes up to 91 strength, 84 aggression goes up to 89, uh, and he looks absolutely ridiculous. So also has the four star weak foot, which the uh, the Kante only has two star, three star, high high, and this Atebo, uh just looks absolutely ridiculous. So without any further ado, boys, we're gonna test out if this card might be the Kante killer. He looks ridiculous, uh, and I, like I said, he's between like 90 and 100 thousand coins, so the value's ve uh, the value's very good. Match number one. With Ogenekaro Pedro Etebo, Alex. Again, what are we looking at this flag for? I don't understand. It just doesn't make any sense to me. All right, so the first thing we like to test out is how the player, the, how the ball, how the ball feels. Okay, nice little, nice little agility. Right, it has that 93 agility, and like again, anchor chem style. That's plenty fast. I don't need any more than that, to be honest with you. Nyeko, Pedro Etebo. Could you imagine? And then the other thing that pops about the card is his uh, his his ability. Christian Pulisic, Captain America, let's go, bro. See how he kind of he kind of he kind of goes back and just kind of chills, and then he can kind of be a, a a facilitator as well. He's got really again the really nice agility with the anchor chem style. Is able to he's able to blast through the uh, he's able to cut through the uh, the fat of the midfield. As a matter of fact, let's see can we get around the Benza with ease. Again, that's the thing with 93 agility that you're going to be able to, that you're just going to be able to do with a card like this. A little finesse? Little Peter, a little P Peter, a table finesse shot. Yo, is Fabinho kind of, is Fabinho's kind of a cracked striker? What the absolute, yo. Long passing. That, that, okay, so 
Can confirm the long passing is legit to Smiley Sar. That's Ocean Man. That's that, that's that that's that aggressiveness. That's a, that's the aggressiveness of uh, Ogenek Caro Peter at table. That's a table right there. That's that right there is probably the most impressive play that we've done with a table so far. Okay, Fabinho is uh, apparently cracked now. Uh, Fabinho is apparently a guy that is uh, absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, it's a table. The absolute audacity. I'm sorry, what? Who, who is that? Claude Maurice. And this is the guy people are calling Fraud Maurice. What, the, what was that strike? Peter, Peter, table. Okay, yeah, the, the, the agility, the agility is correct. His agility is so nuts, I want to use him in the attack. By the way, boys, there is a Silver Stars, there is a Winter Wild Card objective, there's a Winter Wild Card token hidden in the, uh, in, in the, uh, Silver Stars this week. So make sure you go ahead and you do your Silver Star. The, man's literally, man is messy on the ball, dude. And he's got that strength where they can't really bully him off of it. What is that? Tell you, man, a table, a, a table's a G. A table is an absolute silky amboy, and no one's catch, no one's catching against Miley Sar. The only question is here. Why is that? Why did I? Yo, what? Why did I pass that? Look at that. Look at this. Like nice little pop. And I got all the table. One of these. I mean, he, he legit doesn't have finishing, and it makes me wonder. Makes me wonder with with the high high work rates, and he already has good enough. To, uh, he already, in my opinion, he already has good enough, good enough CDM defensive stats. Is a hunter viable? Uh, is 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 the is the hunter? Ooh, nice goal, nice goal. He juked us. He, he juked me out of my socks. Is a hunter a viable chem style for uh, for for uh, Peter at table? Agility. How, like, like, just I'm genuinely, I'm genuinely concerned for like the game right now. Why? How is that going in, Mendy? How, Mendy, you're right. That you literally were. How were you not touching the? I know 60 finishing is tough, but with a 90 shot power, that we got, we got, that's got to be, that's got to be so in the back of the net, bro. How many shots do we have on target? We have got five shots, five shots, two on target. All right, we got to do better, man. We got to do better, M uh, Mendy. Uh, uh, Mendy, man, come on, bro. On Pulisic. Two one. Let's go, boys. The Nigerian, the, the, honestly, the Nigerian mad lads aren't having any of it. Come on, Cap. I mean, he's, he's, he's brilliant on the ball, right? I mean, he, he, can, he can literally cut on a dime and then accelerate past two guys like that. Super, super easy. You know? Nice little pass. Onyeka. All right, table coming in. Again, super, super aggressive. Look at the amount of guys that he has in his box. Look at how many guys I have to get around. I have to get a one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. 
All right, so that was I think that was one of the first clear-cut chances that we had with Onyeka. Sorry, uh, with 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 with, with Peter at table. And then his one, his, and his one, and his of course on his one chance he goes ahead and he bangs it in. By the way, numbers up cards have upgraded. So Insigne, I believe, is uh, currently 96 pace. Get wrecked. Get wrecked, bro. That's all. That, that's all. That's all the table. Look at look at, look at the strength of the tabs. He's smiling sore! How is that not in? Look at the like, how do you... like 90 shot power is cool, but what, what am I gonna expect with a guy with 60? Why am I trying to finish shots with a table anyway? Like, what am I doing? The Vapes, boys! The Vapes at the 88th minute! The crowd is going wild! I'm telling you right now, man, he is so consistent. You get him in front of the net and you just rip it. The man just doesn't miss. Three matches in, a defensive rock is able to faci facilitate the ball forward. Is super, super silky on the ball. And if I were to redo this epi, I think I'd probably put a Hunter Kemstall on him because I think we would probably have at least, at least two goals. In terms of value, I'm going to go ahead and say four out of five. I really, really like it. You get some, you get three packs back as well from this SPC. Uh, and then in terms of on the pitch performance, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say at least for a CDM, didn't do much in the way of, uh, in, in terms of finishing, 75 long shots, uh, 90 shot power, isn't that guy that you could really rely on, unless you put something like a Hunter Chem style on him, uh, to, uh, to get some, uh, to get some shots finished inside the box, but it does need to be noted, has the four star weak foot, but is definitely more of a guy who's just gonna be an absolute defensive rock for you, so, four to five, was able to do everything we asked of him in terms of, uh, um, um, keeping the strong guys in check, uh, getting the ball back, uh, passing stats, obviously, not one of the underrated parts of the card, because obviously those passing stats speak for themselves, but uh, can do all the passing that you need of him, and just a really, really great card for about 95, 100,000 coins. Like I said, Premier League links. Uh, not really too much else to say about this card. He just uh, turns into one of the best midfielders in the Premier League, and he's a guy that you might consider wiggling into your squad uh, if you are running that. But uh, that's going to do it for the episode, you boys. We, all, we love ourselves a cheeky Nigerian player during the foot miss kind of winter wild card promo. Uh, reminds me of Moses Daddy Simon from, uh, from, from uh, about three or four years ago, and an emotional... Uh, emotional little card so if you guys are doing them let me know maybe in the comment section how you find them uh, there's a loan version so make sure you go check that out but you can test it out before you uh before you buy and uh, that is going to do it for the epi going to be doing my rivals matches on stream later tonight as well as some rtg grinding if you guys did enjoy the epi smash like if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button down below i'll catch you guys for another one tomorrow till next time my bros choose later update